I'm going to show you how to do these metal balusters on these contemporary railings. They're quite popular right now. Very simple way to do it uh, with the supplier putting a grooved rail and a grooved shoe and using fillets. You can basically figure out your spacing ahead of time. Check out my video on uh, baluster installs and it shows you how the calculations work. But what you need before you start you're going to need your fillets, of course. You're going to need some wood glue. You're going to need a hammer, regular hammer for driving in the baluster, and also a rubber mallet, and also an 18 gauge pinner. And basically, what you're going to do is you're going to start your spacing once you figure out the spacing using the fillets. And then, once you get towards the end, you have to do another calculation to make sure that you're still. Um, going to be on track with the size of your fillets. Usually the, the system kind of grows a little bit. So it's a really good uh, simple system and you can, I don't know if you can see here but where there is a, a zip bolt fitting in the bottom of the rail you just stain up a one inch uh, plug and tap that in there with a little glue and it makes a really nice uh, finish and a really neat system to do. couple additional uh, pointers to make your life easier. I lay out the distance between the railing and the shoe so a 35 inch baluster can go in without having to cut it. That saves you quite a bit of time. If you do have to cut your balusters, buy a metal blade for your miter saw and use a metal blade and file it after. Uh, even with these ones that are right from the factory, check to make sure there's not one that's a little bit more than 35 inches, that sometimes happens, and trim it. Uh, but otherwise, even on the finished baluster, I like to file uh, the end. It makes it a little easier to drive it into the slot in the shoe. Another thing I wanted to mention is I use a little Q-tip with a bit of stain on it. In case you get a little bit of tear out on your fillet, you can touch it up before you put it in. And finally, you'll see when I come to the end of this uh, line of balusters, I'm going to leave my second last fillet and my last fillet out until I can get that last baluster in because it won't go in if you don't leave that uh, second last fillet out, top and bottom. So here is that last baluster, so you'll see that I need to put it in at quite an angle. Uh, so that's why you can't put this last, second last fillet in before you get this baluster in. So now I'm just going to measure these last two fillets and install them and that run of balusters is done. You're never going to calculate this one ahead of time. It'll never work out, I guarantee you. So the last two will be cut custom. Here is how I calculate fillet size. I take the measurement from post to post and add to that dimension the thickness of one baluster, which in this case is half an inch. Then I take that number and divide that by four and a half. Four and a half represents four inches being the maximum spacing you can have between balusters plus the thickness of one baluster, which in our case is half an inch. I divide 97 by four and a half 
and I get 21 point something fillets or spaces. Of course, you can't do point something of a space, so I round that up to 22, divide 97 by 22, and I arrive at 4.4 inches. So I subtract half an inch from that number and I get 3.9. 3.9 is now the maximum size or the size of our fillets. Now, if 3.9 inches is a little bit confusing for you, just take 0.9 and multiply that by 16, and you'll arrive at 15 sixteenths. So 3 and 15 sixteenths will the be the dimension of my fillets. And in fact, I will need 22 fillets on top and 22 on the bottom. So I'll need a total of 44 fillets. But in this case, I wouldn't cut all 44 right away. I would cut possibly half of them and then recalculate my dimension uh, to make sure I don't need to make an adjustment. I hope that helps. Hey, thanks for watching. I haven't had a lot of time to put out more content this summer because I've been really busy, but I have lots of footage, lots more to come. If you found this video helpful, like and leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you and enjoy the rest of the summer. Subscribe if you haven't. Take care.